Hey guys, hope you enjoyed your Christmas break, but now it's back to business. Forget everything that happened this past week in your personal lives and maybe start thinking about what's important again, okay? The tech news. The highest performing Kaby Lake processor Intel is offering is the Core i7-7700K, which runs at a stock clock speed of 4.2 GHz, with Turbo increasing that to 4.5 GHz. That's good, but professional overclocker Alan Splave Golubarshuk wanted to push it to the max with some overclocking. With liquid nitrogen cooling, the chip was put in an ASRock Z170 motherboard and peaked at 7022.96 MHz just over the 7 GHz threshold. It did the SuperPi benchmark in 4 minutes and 20 seconds and W Prime in 1 minute and 33 seconds. Splave got these results with two of the four CPU cores disabled and hyperthreading was as well. Also, the motherboard is not one of the upcoming ones designed for KB Lake chips, so we'll have to see how those do when they come out. Check the links down below for all the info on this story. According to a report from the Taipei-based Central News Agency, the HTC Vive 2 may be unveiled at CES in January. According to the report, the device will have two 4K displays, an upgrade from the current 1080 by 1200 resolution per eye. The refresh rate also improves from 90 to 120 hertz. Perhaps this new model will push the first Vive down to a bit more of a reasonable price. This is just a rumor at this point, but if it were actually to happen, that would be some pretty exciting stuff. And as Jack mentioned yesterday, we will be at CES next week, so we will make sure to uh, check if this is uh, for real or not. More news ahead of CES, except this one is definitely for real. Lenovo has announced new upgraded ThinkPad laptops equipped with KB Lake chips. The Yoga 372-in-1 has a 13.3-inch HD screen and a Thunderbolt 3 port. It also includes 1TB of SSD storage and 16GB of DDR4 RAM. There will also be refresh models from their T and L series, the new X270, and an updated version of the ThinkPad 13. All models are getting better screens, faster DDR4 memory, memory and more storage capacity as well as a clean install of Microsoft's signature image without the bloatware which has been a problem for Lenovo in the past. It's time for shorter news stories and more quickly than the others. LG has announced the LG Tone Studio which is like a futuristic horseshoe hung around your neck that plays music through speakers pointing up to your ears. People on the bus are gonna love you. A Dutch Model X owner shared dashcam footage of an accident from his Tesla vehicle running Autopilot 8.0. The car impressively reacted before there were obvious signs of trouble. One point for the robots. Speaking of robot cars, Ford unveiled their second generation driverless fusion hybrid, and it looks a lot more normal than the first one. South Korea has fined Qualcomm $850 million for its unfair patent royalty activities, which limit practices of other chip makers like Samsung, Intel, and MediaTek. I talked about the Lenovo laptops, and the company has also announced two docks. The Thunderbolt 3 dock includes two display ports, HDMI, VGA, five USB 3.0, ports, gigabit ethernet, a headphone jack, and a Thunderbolt 3 port. The USB-C dock includes all those things, but a USB Type-C port in place of the Thunderbolt 3 port, but no HDMI, it's a little cheaper. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked in the description below. Sha da da dum 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 bits. I think, uh, is that, uh, maybe I missed a few da dums in there, I'm not sure, but thank you for that. Now, if you guys don't mind, I'd like to talk to you about something you've probably never heard of. It's something that is really close to my heart. It's touched me in places I've never felt before, because I'm a businessman. And businessmen, they have feelings too. So, let me tell you about windows. They're great. When you're inside a building doing your job, you can look out one and it gives you a view of the natural world, providing a little bit of ease and helping you re regain concentration to get through the rest of the day. A necessary, momentary distraction. And so, Windows 10 Pro has a lot of business apps. They're pre-installed and help you manage all the stuff you have to do. For organization, Cortana is pretty good too. Windows 10 Pro comes with the Surface Pro 4, so think about getting that. Okay, there's links down below. Um, you won't want to miss them, so.
All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos, and you can check us out on Twitter down there. But as always, like the video if you liked it, comment below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Anyways, I only have a few more days to be a terrible person before 2017 arrives, so I've got to go.